Hello, I am Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. Many people have been asking what Windows 10 in S mode is all about. Well, there are pros and cons to the Windows 10 being in safe mode. I have heard a lot of complaints over the S mode due to its limitations and confusions. Well, many have asked how to remove Windows 10 from S mode. But first, there are some things to understand before I show you how to get Windows 10 out of S mode. Windows 10 S mode is a version of Windows that was created by Microsoft to streamline Windows security and performance, while still providing a familiar Windows experience. S mode only allows the installation of software for the Microsoft Store, except for the command line programs or shells that are not allowed even if they are from the Microsoft Store. This restriction prevents malware from infecting the PC, the installation of adware and junkware that slows Windows performance, and the system settings are locked to only allow Microsoft Edge as a default web browser, with Bing as a search engine for a safer browsing experience. It was originally called Windows 10 S, designed primarily for low-end low devices in the education market. But it was really Microsoft's test to streamline the OS to better work on ARM processors. Low-powered ARM PCs have advantages over traditional x86 and x64 PCs, which are mostly the desktops and laptops we use today. ARM PCs have built-in LTE cellular connectivity. They offer better battery life than with Intel and AMD processors and the hardware is less expensive for manufacturers. Both Apple iOS devices and Android devices all use ARM processors. Now, you may not see the ARM in desktop PCs anytime soon, but it is a good choice for laptops and netbooks. Windows 10 S is nothing new. Remember Windows RT? It was first introduced on Microsoft's Surface tablet in the late 2012. Then it also appeared in Windows Phones. It was better known as Windows 8 RT. There was a lot of confusion between Windows 8 and RT, even between Microsoft representatives. With the increased usage of mobile devices, Microsoft released Windows 8 as an operating system that would not only run standard desktop applications, but could also run mobile applications like those found on tablets and smartphones. To reap the benefits of using an ARM processor, Windows 8 RT was created, but due to hardware limitations, it prevented the ability to run standard desktop programs. Instead of having one universal operating system, Microsoft ended up with two different versions of Windows 8. Windows 8 RT was specifically for ARM devices like tablets and smartphones. Windows 8 was meant to run on Intel and AMD PCs. The two could not be interchanged. Windows 10 S was developed to work on both Intel and ARM processors to improve the security and performance to compete with Chromebooks and the Chrome operating system. The second generation of ARM, like the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor, has a built-in emulator to simulate an x86 environment that would allow 32-bit programs to function. Unlike Windows RT, Windows 10 S was designed to run both mobile apps and 32-bit apps from the Windows Store on the new ARM processors. However, this created problems because many of the Windows desktop programs were not yet available in the Windows Store and software developers were reluctant to rewrite their programs for the Windows Store. For a consumer to run apps outside the Windows Store, they had to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro for about $50 or more, and that wasn't the only problem. In early 2018, Microsoft announced they would phase out Windows 10 S and have manufacturers begin installing Windows 10 Home and Pro in S mode. The April 2018 feature update switched existing Windows 10 S PCs into Windows 10 Pro in S mode, and the user could then remove the S mode free of charge if they so choose. To this day, people are still confused with Windows 10's S mode. 
For starters, Windows 10 is in S mode is a streamlined operating system focused on security and performance. You can only install apps from the Windows Store that have been verified by Microsoft to be safe. This restriction prevents malware, adware, and junkware being installed. The default browser is Microsoft Edge with Bing as the default search engine. To use a different search engine, you just go to that website. If you need to install third-party programs like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, assistive technology applications, antivirus, and so forth, do not get a PC with Windows 10 and S mode. Before you buy a new PC, be sure to check the box and make sure that it doesn't say anything about Windows 10 being in S mode or that it has a Snapdragon processor. If you're buying online, be sure that you read the detailed description on, the, on this page to make sure that it does not say Windows 10 and S mode. Now, if you do end up with a PC with Windows 10 and S mode, it can be removed, but it's going to have some limitations. Now, for most people who are just basic users, who surf the web, check emails, shop online, etc., Windows 10 and S mode will do fine. If you do want a PC with Windows 10 and S mode, be sure to check the Windows Store to see if there are any versions of your programs that you can switch to. Before removing the S mode, I must warn you, the procedure is irreversible. There's no going back to say S mode later. PCs with AMD or Intel processors will support Windows 10 and all your apps when you remove S mode. However, if your PC has a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, your decision to switch out of S mode will be very limited. Although the Snapdragon processor can emulate an x86 environment, Snapdragon only supports applications designed for ARM64, ARM32, and the x86 architecture. It does not support x64 applications. Now, some developers offer both x86 and x64 versions, but others only offer the x64. Drivers for hardware, games, and apps must support the Snapdragon processor. Peripherals and devices will only work if the drivers they depend on are built into the Windows 10 operating system. 32-bit x86 applications may run more slowly on the Snapdragon processor than if they did on a standard Intel or an AMD processor. Some input method editors, assistive technology apps, cloud storage apps, third-party antivirus programs, client Hyper-V technology, Windows Fax and Scan will not work on with Snapdragon processors. Now, before you get started, uh, what we'll need to do first is to check to make sure as to what we have on the computer. So we'll know what your limitations will be. First thing you'll do is go down here to the lower left, click on the Windows icon, and then go to Settings. You're going to see the Settings window come up. Go up here to System. And then go down to the left column all the way to the bottom and click About. Here gives you information about your computer. Now the thing we're looking for is this right here where it says the uh, processor. Uh, this one here says it's an Intel Celeron, which is a good idea uh, because this means that we can um, remove the S mode and have little complications with it. Now if your computer does say Snapdragon, then as I mentioned earlier in this video, there are some limitations as to what you can do. So you want to make very sure that you want to switch this thing out of S mode because you are going to be very limited as to what you can run on a computer running a Snapdragon processor. Now because this one is as a standard Intel processor, then switching this out from S mode would be a lot simpler. Next thing we need to do is go up here to Home and we're going to go to Update and Security. And on the left column here, we're going to go to Activation. Here, 
you'll see here it says Windows 10 Home in S, in S mode. Uh, it also shows that it's been activated and so forth. You'll see this option here to switch to Windows 10 Home. Now this is going to give you some information. Remember, as I said, this is not reversible. Once you make this decision, there is no going back. If you do decide that you want to resume, what you'll do next is go down to go to store. When it comes up, you're going to see that it is going to give you a warning and the options that you have uh, while you're in safe mode. Now if you look down towards the bottom, it's going to show the features and the comparison between the two features. For instance, if you're in S mode, you get added protection, you get optimal performance, and you only get verified applications from Microsoft installed on the computer, compared to what happens if you're switched out. And of course, if you have more information, you can uh, look up some any information you need. Now, if you still want to remove the S mode, what you'll do is go over here and click Get. Now it's going to work on doing the switch out. You're going to get this message now where it says you have switched out of S mode and can now install apps from the outside of the store. You can choose close. Now if we go back, you'll see now that it says Windows 10 Home and that we're no longer in S mode. This concludes this video. I am Mr. Fix from ES Repair. Thank you for watching.